our first date, we went to the Lego movie. And while I felt nervous, I was mostly excited. Excited to get to spend time with you on an actual date, but also excited because you had picked an activity you knew I wanted to do, showing me the caring, attentive man you are. Many call you the strong and silent type, but I know that you are actually taking in everything around you in order to truly connect with people on a deeper emotional level that feels real. That is one of my favorite things about you. Over the next few years, we experienced life in different states, worked through intense schooling and many life experiences, some absolutely amazing and some not so much. But the constant in all of that was knowing I could depend on you to always be there for me. And I know we are standing here again today, stronger and better because of it all. You are my rock and my best friend, my number one fan and my adventure buddy. You push me to be better, bolder and more accepting of myself. You enjoy the crazy, weird, silly side of life and try your best to bring that out in me. I vow to love and respect you. I vow to support you in all your interests and passions. I vow to, as your partner and as equals, to create a household and family built on faith. I vow to be with you through it all as we grow old. I vow to hold hands with you. Jordan, you are the most caring and good-willed man I've ever met. I love you and I cannot wait to continue this crazy adventure with you by my side. Amanda, I love you. You have brought such joy to my life. In our relationship, our union, our marriage, we are creating or have created something new, something unique to us, a relationship with unique traits and personality, a unique history, and from here, we will continue to mold our futures together. Each step that led us here and each step we take from this point is ours. We've walked with each other through great triumphs and made our way through a literal pandemic in our first year of marriage. <laughs> You are my favorite person. Without pause, without a doubt, I wouldn't want anyone else by my side. I promise to walk by your side forever, to love, help, and encourage you in all that you do. I will take time to talk to you, to listen to you, to care for you. Through all the changes of our lives, I will be there for you always. As a strength and need, a comfort in sorrow, a counselor in difficulty, and a companion in joy. Everything I am and everything I have is yours, now and forevermore. With love and faithfulness, these are my promises to you. We, we finally made it to this celebration. One year ago today, Amanda and Jordan got married in a wonderful wedding ceremony in, in Don and Dave's backyard. It was a beautiful day in Blue Earth, Minnesota. My question to Jordan and Amanda is, is this gonna be an annual event? <laughs> Just to be here tonight and uh, for them to be celebrated is just so meaningful because they deserve it um, more than any couple that I know. Uh, how can you not love these two? Like if you... You just saw the ceremony, you heard their vows to each other. Um, it's just such an example and uh, such an honor to be their friends. 
Today, surrounded by friends and family, marks one year of marriage for Amanda and Jordan, and it is genuinely the happiest I've ever seen my sister. Although it has been quite the year, I've seen you two grow together as a couple. You have supported one another through both difficult and exciting times, and I know you will continue to for the rest of your life. I am beyond happy that I, along with your friends and family here, will get to continue to see you build your lives together. So if you will all join me in lifting your glass to our two light skis in love. May you continue to laugh with, cherish, and love one another for the rest of your lives. Cheers! We all come alive. This is the good life. So good.